Guys, the news is finally out today. The scientist has announced that for the first time, water has been confirmed to be present on the sunlit surface of the moon. What is this sunlit surface of the moon? The moon has two surfaces, the one which receives sunlight all the time and hence it is visible to our eyes. Another one is permanently shaded region of the lunar surface that never receives sunlight. In 2018, NASA detected water ice at the permanently shaded region of the lunar surface that never receives sunlight. But this is for the first time in the history that NASA has confirmed the presence of water on the sunlit surface of the moon. Now guys, have you wondered here, how did NASA know about water on moon without actually landing on it? We are in 21st century and the technology today is so superior that it provokes scientists to invent SOFIA. Yes, you heard it clearly. SOFIA, which means by Stratostrophic Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, that is SOFIA. SOFIA is an aircraft Boeing 747 with a giant telescope installed at the back of its fuselage. SOFIA flies almost 43,000 feet above the Earth's surface. During flight, it opens her hatch at the rear, pointing its telescope towards the sky and studying the cosmos in infrared light. Now the question comes, why there was a need of flying telescope when we have high potential telescopes present on ground? The reason behind this is that when we observe through ground, the water vapors present on Earth atmospheres give muddy infrared signals, while the observatory in the 747 is designed to fly high enough above the Earth that much of the water vapor doesn't mess with the observations. Turning Sophia's telescope to the moon in 2018, the research team picked out two sunlit surfaces, one at high latitude near Clavius crater and one that was closer to equator. Around Clavius crater, the team detected water. Now another question to be answered is, is this water same as water present on Earth? Yes. The SOFIA detected the water present on the sunlit surface which is exactly of the same molecular structure of the water present on Earth. The molecular composition is H2O, the natural water which is present on Earth. Can you guess how much is the amount of water detected by SOFIA? Yes, the scientist reveals that the water is present between 100 to 400 parts per million. That is roughly equal to 12 ounces bottle of water. This is so small amount that even Sahara Desert has a hundred times more amount of water than what SOFIA detected in lunar soil. Scientist believes that this water could be used as a resource during upcoming missions like NASA's return of humans to the lunar surface through Artemis program. Now guys, we are gonna discuss about the Artemis program in our upcoming video. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and don't miss our upcoming video about Artemis program of NASA.